right, easy video this morning. We're going to talk about PKGI on the PS3, how to download games with it, how to install it to your console, how to set it up, all that fun stuff. So first thing you're going to want to do, um, you, this console needs to be activated on the account that you plan on using. So what you're going to want to do is go over to Custom Firmware Tools, come down to PSN Tools, disable syscalls. Once syscalls have been disabled, go ahead and log in, go into Account Management, System activation, PS3 system, you're going to want to go ahead and activate for game. Once that's been done, we can go ahead and sign out. You're going to want to go ahead and install PKGI PS3. Install the package. Once that's done, you're going to want to drop the two text files into the USR DIR of that package. So let's go into multi-man real quick. Oh, forgot I disabled syscalls. So let's go. Hard reboot. If you disable syscalls to go onto PSN, you won't be able to launch any homebrew. That's just a precaution they take to where you're not going to get banned now if you're online using mod menus and doing stuff you're not supposed to be doing there's still a chance you're going to get banned because people will, will report you maybe not so much now i know that's how it used to be for the longest time um but if you're just going online to play a game disable syscalls you'll be fine All right, so now that syscalls are no longer disabled, let's go ahead and launch Multiman. All right, so we are still in the directory. We're going to go out just so we can come back in. I'll show you because this is going to be the main screen you're going to be presented with. Come all the way over to the MMCM tab. File Manager MMOS. We're already in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of this. You're going to want to come over using your uh, right joystick PS3 root. We're going to go down to HDD0. We are going to go into the game folder. We are then going to go to NPOOPKGI3. Open that up. USRDIR. Place your configuration in your DB format text files inside of this folder. Once that's been completed, we can go ahead and quit Multiman. You can do this over FTP as well. Um, I'm just doing this for um, just simplicity of this video. I'm trying to keep it as short as possible here. So once that's been done, come over to PKG IPS3, press X. So if it still pops up saying that you are missing the configuration text file, there's an error with it, do a hard reset on your PlayStation. And then if you want to sort content here, you're going to press triangle for menu. You can sort by content, games, you can have it all, you can have it updates, themes, whatever you want. Regions, Asia, Europe, Japan, USA, I limited it to USA. Um, once you have all that selected, you can press triangle to close that menu. And now we're just going to go through and find something that's a fairly small file. I know one of the games uh, that's pretty fun to play is Harvest Moon, so we're going to go down to that. Sixty-seven megabytes. Press X to close. So now that it's been queued again, we have to hard reset our PlayStation. I'm just going to go through turn off system. Yes. Let that turn all the way off. Turn it back on. Now, if you download something and it pops up and tells you you need to go into the PlayStation Store to renew the license, it's because you have not activated the system. 
So disable syscalls, go in and activate. Now that we are back on the main screen, download management is going to pop up. It's going to tell you what's going on with that download. It's currently pending. And then it will start downloading. So we'll give that just a few moments here. I will try and link those text files. I know it took me a bit to find those. They do not come with the package itself. Um, I'll have to try something a little different though as the last time I uh, posted a link from my Mediafire account for the software to run one of the programmers that I use. Uh, YouTube decided to flag it and give me a strike, which I had to appeal. I don't want that to happen again. Um, so I'll see if I can find the Dropbox account that they initially came from. Otherwise, I might just upload it to my Mediafire account for safekeeping and then shorten the URL so that they don't see it as suspicious. Never used to have an issue with Mediafire uh, posting all my links there, but apparently they've changed some things. So now that download, ma download management's gone, come back over here. We're going to go into Package Manager, PlayStation Network Content, and there is our game. So let's go ahead and download it. Install has been completed. So there's our game. Harvest Moon Back to Nature. So that's really it. It's a fairly simple program to use. It has everything you need. Not everything, but it's got quite a bit. So definitely uh, worth looking into and installing it. Again, make sure you activate your console. Disable syscalls. Which again, custom firmware tools. PSN tools, disable syscalls. So then if we try to come in and let's say run multi-man, it's not going to work. It will not allow it to work, and that is just a protection point they have in place to not get you banned. So after that, again, you got to hard reset your console, but you can go ahead and you can just sign on in, activate your console like we talked about in the beginning of the video, and go from there. So having said that, I'm going to end this video. There's really not much else to go over. If you enjoyed the video, uh, check my other ones out, subscribe. Throw a like, throw a comment, throw something. So, uh, having said that, thanks for watching. See you later.